All right, we're on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange talking about the markets with Jim Cramer. All right, Jim, let's begin with Snap. Look, um, okay, let's talk positives and negatives. The positives is the engagement 30 minutes is extraordinary. If you want to reach that particular younger cohort for, say, uh, advertising in the movies, it's the best way. Uh, ESPN to get the younger cohort, it's the best way. That's the positives. The negatives were the revenue growth was not was suboptimal because now they got to try to do a billion dollars and I don't think they can when you see 160, how are you going to get to, to, to a billion? It's just too hard. Another negative was the arrogance. I mean, uh, you can't, you, you need humility when you miss the numbers. Okay, so that's one of the things that we all learn. When a, when a CEO misses the numbers, what the CEO has to do is say, okay, look, here's what we have in the pipe. This could help things. They do have uh, Europe, they haven't even scratched the surface, and they do have Android coming up because they just started doing Android. But it was, the revenues were the problem. Uh, the expenses are, are, they're spending a huge amount of money. At 17, I think you got to start thinking there's upside. All right, it's good advice for Evan Spiegel. Yes. All right, yeah, moving. He might take it too. You should. All right, moving on to retail, Macy's and Kohl's. Okay, Kohl's was good, but Macy's is pulling down the ETF that's for retail, and the ETF is more powerful. Uh, when retail goes down, it tends to pull down, uh, when one of them goes down like that, it tends to pull down the whole cohort. So you want to buy Kohl's off of Macy's, uh, Macy's weakness because Kohl's talked about how February uh, was bad, and that was the trough, and then uh, March was good, April was be was good. Uh, they have a very good business with Under Armour, and I think that's helping them. Uh, Macy's is very challenged, and the stores look terrible, mm. uh, and I think that Macy's, you could say that it's bottoming, but I don't know how much upside there is. Yeah, they're schlumpy, as you said, on yes, Stock on the Street. <laughs> very All right, and while we're on the subject of retail, what are you expecting from J.C. JCPenney tomorrow? You know, no, I, I, not much. Um, I think that Penny has Sephora. Uh, which is very positive, uh, and the expectations are very low, but there's just a huge amount of stock. There's a big float. They need to get to the point where their balance sheet, where they can start buying in stock. They're not there yet. The old penny had a good dividend did, and was rather tight. This one just has done, it's just, it's too, it has way too many shares outstanding. Mm -hmm. And Sears, I mean, the CEO was slamming the media. Yeah, well, you know, look, the Sears is a challenge situation, and uh, they keep finding ways to be able to stay in business, and good luck to them. All right, and then on Mad Dash on Squawk in the Street, you talked about Whole Foods. Yeah, Whole Foods, and I have a very piece, very uh, long piece of real money about it. They, they keep thinking that what matters is everything but comp stores, and the only thing that really matters is comp stores because that's really the apples to apples way to measure growth. So they have minus 2.8 comp stores is really not, you know, minus two is really not good. Uh, they are changing the board. They're bringing in Ken Hicks from Foot Locker. He's terrific. Bringing in Ron Shake from from, uh, from Panera. They are not going to fool around. They will help the situation. So longer term is good. But what I really felt was ultimately that the reason why it's going up is not because of anything they said. It's going up because I think Jana is going to put them in play. They did not have a good relationship with Jana. They said it on. Uh, they said it was initially cordial. Uh, Whole Foods is a buy because of what the, of what Jana will do. All right, and I know you're watching the oil sector with two action alerts: names Apache and Simmerex. Yeah, look, Apache uh, had really had a much better quarter than people realized. That's why it's up more than 10 percent. Uh, the uh, the great thing about uh, Apache is that uh, it, they really did. Uh, they oversold Alpine High initially. Then they had to eat some crow. And now it looks like Alpine High is very, very good. And my sources away from them indicate it's very good. Simrex had fabulous growth. Simrex is a great growth oil, not unlike EOG and Pioneer, but it's cheaper. And I know you're also watching Caterpillar. Yeah, I thought that the Caterpillar upgrade was very good. Very reasoned, talked about mining, inventory's low, big uh, analyst meeting coming up, first time in four years. A uh, guy raised the numbers well above the street, and I think those numbers can be beaten. All right, and then Cowan had a note out about Elf Beauty, a stock you yeah, talk I mean, a lot look, about. Elf, Elf killed it. You know, Elf was a very good story, and then they said April was weaker and said don't worry about the month to month. But you never want to see that because Ulta has never said that. But Elf did have a good quarter, and you have to believe that April will bounce back. But the fact is, is that April was strong for a lot of retailers, so I really don't get Elf's weakness. Uh, that said, uh, Elf is part of the selfie generation, um, and I don't think the stock's expensive. All right, and Jim, we also want to mention your special event at Bar San Miguel on May 23rd. Yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're getting together with people who want to be club members, okay? You want to subscribe, you get that, you have dinner with me, all the price points you can see from going to the site. I think it'll be very exciting. It's my element, and that's why I like to go there. Uh, I think that the reservations are going to start going, so you've got to start signing up. Um, we've had a couple of events there, four in business. Uh, Bob Lang had one for Trifecta, and we had a lot 
lot of people and it's a nice environment. Um, I will be there trying to get my wife to swing by, <laughs> but I, I think it's a great way. I'll give a little talk about stocks and I really want people to be at this. It's a great way to meet and learn from you, Jim. Yes, and, and join the club. You can become a subscriber. All right, Jim Kramer, thank you thank so you. much. And for more on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.